I picked up on the fact that we didn't spend any money this year, borrowing any money? Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Okay. We have How to get through November. Right. How much have we saved so far? I'm um, borrowing. You know, the rate is so low, it's like 2.75. Mm -hmm. So we've, last year, I think I borrowed $2 million, And then we paid it back by the end of July. Okay. But, so but what Mike and I, <coughs> what happens is when we have a lot of construction going on in town, mm -hmm. sometimes there's a lag between... Obviously, contractors want to get paid, and we get the money in. Mm -hmm. So sometimes the money goes out of the general fund, and then they reimburse us. So like this year, there has been no construction, so I don't foresee borrowing, but I don't know what's coming between now and November. <coughs> so far, so good. And the other thing I heard was that, and, and I, I agree with it, when once the bill goes out, people do do their best yes, they do. to pay the bill. So if we moved the date back by 30 days, does that require anything special other I than... I think you have to go to the state so that they set the tax rate because they can't send the bills until the rate has been set. Mm -hmm. Is that a possibility? I mean, is that's that... That's up to you. Well, it, yeah, it's new yes. territory for me, and, and that's why I guess I'm asking the question and what would be involved in doing that because going forward in the future, if that would bring money in sooner and keep us from borrowing money, mm -hmm. then it may be something that perhaps we should consider. Eileen, can I, can I address that? Because I sure. happen, happen to know what the answer is. Right. Okay. Because I'm the treasurer of the village district. The, in the case of the village district, there's an MS-34. The town, Ed Tinker, prepares, along with the financial director, prepares, I think it's, I don't know if it's an MS-4, I think it is, mm -hmm. for the town. Mm -hmm. and. Mm -hmm. They, the deadline for that is September 1st, that it has to be sent to DRA. And then DRA, of course, is getting our, the town of Hampton, the school boards, the, you probably have one as well with the school board that's due September 1st. I think the school goes with the town, am I correct? They probably do their own. Right. Yeah. And, okay. And so, um, so that you have to understand, of course, DRA has like three employees for the whole state. So they're getting all this stuff all at once. Correct. And so they have to go through it. Now, I know that what will happen is that by the end of September, somebody from DRA will contact me and say, do you have anything you want to change? Are we final? Is this good? Okay. And then Ed Tinker, financial director, myself, the tax rate is set, usually around by October 14th. That's what we try to get done. So that then, once the tax rate is set, then the bills can be printed and sent out. But as far as backing that up, it's the, it's the DRA of the state. Correct. The, they the forms that, so it's sort of the state is, is, is directing us towards the uh, what, what day it's going to be. So I don't see how we could back that up because you won't have the tax rate set. But before we were SB2, didn't you meet earlier in the year? Why am I thinking they, that I remember them all going in September well, I, years I ago. haven't been the treasurer since 1991. Oh. So I can't go <laughs> back 30 years, years, you know, 20 years or something. But um, I think before SB2, I'm trying to think if they, I know you, you used to go earlier, or the selectmen, I can remember them all going to Concord. Well, the final bill is usually set in October. Right. Maybe the end of September, but correct. But typically, it's nearer the first week in October that you really get the the rate, mm -hmm. and that sets the second half bill. Correct. So you so you can't. The first half is half, half of, of the prior year. The December bill, so that's that's kind of established, and it just comes in July, mm -hmm. June, through the first of July. But the October one, you have to, has to go through the state. You have to Correct. set the tax rate before they can send the bill out. And they're hoping to have all of that before the October end of one. October, end so of that, October. They, that they can set it out the very first of November. You have 30 days. Correct, because you want the first. bill to go out. Right. right. Everyone needs 30 days to right. pay the bill. So if it right. goes out on the 15th of November, then it's the 15th of December. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just trying to help cut down, cut down anywhere we can. But, you just know, actually, in the last few years, there's only been a few times that I had to had to borrow. 
-hmm. It hasn't been that that tight. You it's know, been a big change from the annual to right. oh semi annual. Semi annual really helped, and I think that it helped the taxpayers of Hampton also because in, instead of having an eight thousand dollar bill in December along with Christmas and your oil and everything else, you were you know you were paying it over time, which was better. Well, thank you everyone for your input in that. Thank you, Stephen. David.